And last but not least, you know, we have to have the student voice. So this is the vice president, Catherine Squire, vice president of the student senate. Catherine. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Catherine Squire. I'm the, the vice president for the student senate. Um, I just really want to say I, I'm really inspired to see this caucus come to fruition. Um, just because our organization has a women's caucus as well, but it's currently inactive and has nowhere near the the 100 and almost 50 per participants on this Zoom call. So <laughs> I'm really excited to just see this caucus come together um, just because I think it's so beneficial to have a group of women that is constantly pushing each other um, and inspiring each other and really claiming our place in the system, not just in education, but I think in all systems and in the workforce. Um, I think this, this is something I often forget about how valuable my voice is as an individual um, who has a Latina, Latina heritage, just because on my board, I'm, I'm one of only two women on my team of six executive vice presidents in my organization. So um, we don't have too, too much female representation on my board either. So I think it's super important to have, you know, just a coalition that is so supportive. Um, and that continues to claim spaces and use our voices, even if, even if it makes others in the room uncomfortable. Um, and I just want to say, you know, one of the reasons I originally came into my role as a, as a female student leader was because I wanted um, my mother to have representation. Uh, she, she raised me as a single mom and was one of, was the only one of seven siblings to immigrate from a Central American country. Uh, she came here with nothing and really just built a life for us from scratch. And when I first entered community college, I knew that that was a real that this was a place where she could really thrive, um, just because of how supportive and inclusive the environment was for me. Um, and so I, I convinced her to go back and become a community college student. And so she's uh, she's currently in community college trying to um, get an associates in business. And so the reason why I got involved in student government was to find her support. Uh, first of all, because she really needed that academically and professionally. Um, and there were questions as an older student uh, that she had that I couldn't answer. And so, you know, at, at the time, um, that was my reasoning for that. But I think since then, you know, I've just been learning that my voice as a woman is, is so valuable in helping her, uh, helping myself, first of all, but also helping her and helping us both really grow in our resiliency. Um, as women and learning that our voices matter. And so in every meeting I have, every project I find myself working on, it's not only my voice that I'm using, but it's also for her. Um, so I'm super excited to see where this caucus goes because I think everyone on this call is here to create spaces for themselves, um, but also for those coming behind us and to really create that legacy. So I think this work is really gonna pave, pave the way for so many and um, create, uh, focus on the work that that we need to, for women to to take those spaces. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Catherine, and you are our future. So while we're paving the way for you, we know you're going to be paving the way too, and you're going to be one of the upcoming leaders. So thank you so much.